number two. I will explain to you exactly the motors and motor mounts I'm going to use on this off-road, the beast on the leash board. Anyway, back to the motor mounts. There are three different types of motor mounts. Mostly and commonly used is a strap-on motor mount. It's pretty much a part that goes over your trucks, you tighten up the bolts, and that keeps your motor there on the trucks. You also have a bit of a cheaper versions of motor mounts like this one here which uses uh, a round um, how would I call it like a thicker part on actual motor mount that has four holes in it and grabs course grow straight through and the clip on to any round truck not a problem as long as you use a lot of Loctite and as long as you use it once but they're much cheaper so please look out for what you're getting. This particular uh, motor mount here is quite thin. If you're using uh, this motor mount for a smaller motor and for a smaller board with less power, that's not a problem at all. But if you're going off-road and you're going to have five, six, seven thousand watts of power, I would recommend to go for something more solid. I would also like to mention another very unique type of motor mount and trucks. Slick Revolution, UK based company and I like those guys a lot, I did review uh, a lot of their boards. And I'm not saying this just because I know them guys, I do all of this for nothing, no one pays me so all my reviews are 100% genuine and truthful. What you're looking at here right now is the trucks and the motor mounts from Slick Revolution boards. What they have came up with is the motor mounts, they are detachable, but on the trucks themselves you have a pre-casted seat that by taking the Slick Revolution motor mount apart and turning it the other way around, you can actually get the motors to look the other way. Pretty much like the evolved uh, boards look like, that has a shape to it, and the motor mount actually clips over it and then use four screws to tighten up together so this will never ever start moving around they also have nice reinforcements on the motor mount themselves that makes this motor mounts very sturdy I have used these uh, trucks and the motor mounts on my 5000 watt DIY board I'm going to go for a quick ride on my DIY board she is amazing, she is fast, it's unreal and I got no problems whatsoever. So this is pretty much it, very quick review of what's out there and what to watch out for. So guys, let's talk about the parts I'm going to use for this build. And let's start with the mortar. The mortar I have here comes with a nice soft packaging. As already mentioned, it is a 6374 size mortar. This motor is by a company called Streetwing. It's a UK based company and I've got no issues with this motor whatsoever. I had a small tiny hiccup with the first motor I ever bought from him but that was sorted straight away which is very very beneficial when you use a company that is actually local because you get all the support that you need. Sorry I just realized I should have mentioned the first part there's also a very big difference and very important difference you should know about, about the motors. You see this additional cable here on the motor, besides the power cables? That is the motor for the sensors. So there are two types as well out there, sensorless and censored motor. What pretty much happens is, there are sensors in the motor that register the position of the motor at any given time. And this is very beneficial on the lower speed of your board or especially if you're trying to take off from the full standstill. This way you can use your FOC mode. You can use motors without sensors, that's fine, but it's much more advisable and it's a much uh, smoother ride with the censored motors. Streetwing now came out with a fully sealed uh, motor, as you can see. It is, uh, I believe, 3560 watt and 65 amp maximum draw. Gorgeous. Love this motor. It also has a uh, good fixing uh, to the uh, motor pulley because it does use the key. I'll cover that in a second. 
What I also bought from Streetwing, I bought a motor mount by Streetwing. The reason why, very good quality, very thick, durable, and also has this gorgeous adapter that goes over the torque board trucks because the shape of those trucks is square and this adapter will help me to grab onto it very very nicely and that's gonna go nowhere these parts are not the cheapest but you get what you pay for now guys let me show you how to install all of these parts correctly onto your DIY so guys to make this easier for you I have uh, measured the distance between the end of the axle to where you should put just a quick mark and that will determine where roughly you need to install the motor mount this will be your starting point so the motor pulley is now on and the blue block is drying what we need to do in the meantime as hard as it can go because I was taking the bearings out and everything else I want to make sure everything sits in perfectly for me the belt tension is right is when you can press on the belt and you can still see different types of coating this one here an anti-scratch rhino skin 